Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out English Counties Explained. We're Tip Men, and here's Tip Map. map men, what? Map men, map, 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 Hang on. Welcome to Map Men. We're Tip Men, and here's Tip Map. Map Men, Map. What am I not getting about that? I'm sure that's a joke about something. I'm sure it's really funny, and I wish I got it. In today's programme, we're going to talk about counties. Counties are the building blocks that make up Britain. The units you're expected to have heard of to help place towns and villages you've not heard of, such as Wingerworth. Where? In Derbyshire. Oh. In Derbyshire. <laughs> I didn't know there were counties there. I only know counties from what we have in the United States. Are they the same? Is it the same kind of denomination? So there's a state, and within the state there are counties, and within the counties there are cities. Such as Wingerworth. Where? In Derbyshire. Oh. Where's Derbyshire? Arguably, the county that inspires the fiercest pride and loyalty in its inhabitants is Yorkshire. Yorkshire is known for Yorkshire puddings, Yorkshire terriers, and Yorkshire tea, which comes from this part of Yorkshire. With its distinctive what? accent... Hang on. Where is Yorkshire exactly? Where is it? Where is it? Where? It's not showing me where it is. Is it all of that? Where is it? Oh. Okay, yeah, he just said it's a county, so that's that makes sense. Okay. It is beautiful. Look at that. Yorkshire is known for Yorkshire puddings, Yorkshire terriers, and Yorkshire tea, which comes from this part of Yorkshire, with its distinctive accent, <laughs> okay, strong identity, yeah, 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 yeah. and intent. Their jokes go by so fast. Why is it? Oh, Yorkshire terrier. So in Yorkshire, instead of saying hello, they say now then. Instead of saying thank you, they say ta. Instead of saying you, they say the. In the. In t to the shops. To shops. Anything. Out. Nothing. Nout. Good grief. E by gum. <laughs> e by gum. Girl, lass, table, table, coffee, tea, <laughs> until, while, one, two, three, yantan, tether. And I see the symbol of Yorkshire is a white flower. Is that a rose? As in War of the Roses, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm making it up. With its distinctive accent, strong identity, and intense one-way rivalry with Lancashire next door, Yorkshire <laughs> folk are proud to tell everyone they come across that they come from Yorkshire. And they're all wrong to do so, because Yorkshire doesn't exist. Yes, it does. All right, show me a map with Yorkshire on it. OK. Here. This map of the 39 counties That's... of England clearly shows a county called Yorkshire. That's exactly what I just found while trying to look it up on Google Maps. I couldn't find it. Here. This map of the 39 counties of England clearly shows a county called Yorkshire. But this map of the 48 counties of England shows separate north, south, west and east riding of Yorkshire, oh. but no single county called Yorkshire. But my map is correct and up to date. So is mine. And so is this one. <laughs> What's going on? We're doing map men. No, I mean with the counties. <laughs> well, the definition of county... And <laughs> What's going on? We're doing map men. <laughs> What's going on? We're doing map men. No, I mean with the counties. Well, the definition of county in Britain is a minefield of anomalies, asterisks, confusions, vague areas, and contradictory Wikipedia articles. The more you look for hmm. answers about what a county really is, the more questions you come across. Which is perhaps why no one's attempted to do a video about them before. Even Google Docs won't let you type the word county <laughs> without suggesting, did you mean country? But we're not taking citation needed for an answer. It's time to do some actual research to find out once and for all, what is a county? And go! <laughs> right, now that we've eaten all those biscuits, should we start doing some research? I've done it all. The first time England was split into what we now call counties was back in the 10th century when King Ethelstan wanted to make sure all the same laws were being obeyed and all the same taxes were being collected all across England. Which, curiously, is the opposite reason why you divide a nation up nowadays. He split his kingdom into bite-sized manageable chunks and sent an earl to be in charge of each one of them. How they got their names tells you a bit about how they were formed. These were named after ethnic groups or old kingdoms that existed before England. These ones that end in sex <laughs> were part of the Saxon <laughs> kingdoms which spread across the south of England. And these oh. ones got their name from the most important town, the county town, and added the Anglo-Saxon word sheer on the end. The same word that sheriff comes from. Sheer, sheriff, sheriff. Ooh. Oh, okay. And for our American <laughs> viewers, it's pronounced sheer, not shire. Actually, it's pronounced sheer, not sheer, plebs. So it's Yorkshire? Yorkshire. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire terrier. Yeah. Yorkshire. 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 York. York. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. 
Yorkshire. Over the centuries, these areas have been controlled by earls, dukes, sheriffs, lords, <coughs> and at one point, counts, which is how they came to be known as counties. The precise location of exactly oh. where one county stopped and another one started wasn't important in those days. Counties are called counties because of counts. I just had my mind blown. The precise location of exactly where one county stopped and another one started wasn't important in those days. Nobody tried to draw the boundaries on a map until the 1080s when the Normans did a survey. Hello Norman, I've done a survey of all the people who say they live in Worcestershire. Thanks Norman, I'll just add that to my survey of all the people who say they live in Gloucestershire. Oh dear. Oh dear. And that's how the fuzzy <laughs> county borders became sharp lines, but with lots of panhandles, detached areas, exclaves and squiddly bits. England's counties varied massively in size. The biggest, Yorkshire, was half the size of Wales, and the smallest, Rutland, was roughly the size of a whale with zero cities and frankly had no business being a county. Harsh. <laughs> but these differences didn't really matter until... In 1888, the Prime Minister Lord Salisbury established administrative counties, making democracy local. What flew into his face? Until... In 1888, the Prime Minister Lord Salisbury established administrative counties, making democracy local. Each county would now have its own county council in the county town, in charge of local things like police, fire, council tax and so on. But some counties were too big to be easily manageable. Sussex got split into east and west. And Yorkshire was split into its historic ridings, a word that meant thirds. Thirdings, thirdings, ridings, ridings, yeah that sort of oh. works. In addition to this, big cities were given the status of county borough, which made them independent from the county they were in, effectively taking the Leicester out of Leicestershire, Derby out of Derbyshire, and Nottingham out of Nottinghamshire. Oh, that's So confusing. does this all mean that a united Yorkshire hasn't existed since 1888? Well, not exactly. Strap in. The new administrative counties did not replace the historic counties. Both systems confusingly, confusingly coexisted, coexisted at the same, same time. time. And the confusion was only going to get worse. Lots of towns in Britain had the same name. This often caused confusion, uh... with many people's letters being delivered to the wrong place. Which is why from 18-something <laughs> onwards, the Royal Mail required that every address had to end with a county. But Because many post towns happened to spread inconveniently across county borders, the Royal Mail, for their own convenience, introduced the last thing Britain needed another county's map. The post office's counties didn't match up with the historic ones or the administrative ones. For example, the town of Ugly was in the county of Essex, but the address ended in Hertfordshire. Which meant there were now three interpretations of what county you lived in. Historical, administrative and or postal. Oh gosh. As the centuries rolled on, the county system went from being confusing to being completely out of date. After the Industrial Revolution, Britain's new big cities were manspreading themselves across county borders. And many county towns were no longer the commercial powerhouses they used to be. The once mighty city of York had fallen to fifth place in non-existent Yorkshire. The counties mm. didn't reflect 20th century Britain in any cultural, practical or meaningful sense. It was time for a complete shake-up. <laughs> the year was 1972, a time of optimism and experimentation in the first episode of Rainbow. <laughs> the local okay, it looks like we have some bananas with meat wrapped around them, probably ham, and a kind of cheese sauce with grapes and a salad on the side. Looks good. What is Rainbow? Sounds kind of like uh, Sesame Street to me. Puppets and kids and adults teaching lessons. The adult version. In 1979, the cast and crew of Rainbow made a special exclusive sketch for the Tim's TV staff Christmas tape. So this was private. And it had one of the characters, Zippy, peeling bananas saying one skin, two skin, three skin, before being interrupted by George. Wow, that's risky. Oof, I wouldn't do that now, because that would be leaked so fast. But back then, I guess, you know, they didn't have the internet. I love that they did that, though. That bear has got to go. That's creepy looking. No, no. The Local Government Act of 1972 was a radical attempt at cleaning up the complicated, outdated counties mess both once and for all. Brand new metropolitan counties sprang into existence, with modern sounding names like Merseyside, Greater Manchester, West Midlands and Tyne and Weir. London, of course, wasn't included in any of this as they'd already done their own thing ten years earlier, which Jay has previously discussed on a video he made without me. At the same time, several <laughs> traditional counties vanished overnight. It was county carnage. Huntingdonshire got eaten by Cambridgeshire, Hereford got anded with Worcester, Cumberland, Westmoreland and this lump of Lancashire were all merged and given the horrible new name Cumbria. And silly little Rutland was sensibly absorbed by Leicestershire. Chances are nobody would have battenbergged an eyelid at yet another change to Britain's local authorities, but the government made a big mistake. They messed with Yorkshire. Yorkshire's borders got a complete meddling, creating a new South Yorkshire, which was cheeky. Oh. But when the East Riding got taken out of Yorkshire altogether and became part of the new Humberside, that was not on. It was off. 
The previous <laughs> New Yorkshireian residents of Hull were not at all keen to be lumped with Grimsby on the other side of the River Humber. It was a particularly bizarre union given the Humber Bridge connecting the two sides hadn't even been built yet. There was an anti-Humberside campaign, and even anti-Humberside graffiti. All this kerfuffle forced the government's hand, and in 1996, Humberside quietly disappeared. As did other unpopular experiments like it Cleveland worked. and Avon. Hereford and Worcester once again became Hereford and Worcester. Sure, <laughs> even ridiculous Rutland regained its status as England's smallest county. The shake-up of 1972 designed to simplify things did nothing of the sort, instead marking the beginning mm. of an era where county borders, names and powers have been changing on an ever-increasing basis. England today has nine regions comprising 47 ceremonial counties alongside six metropolitan counties comprising 36 metropolitan districts, 26 non-metropolitan counties comprising 192 non-metropolitan districts and 56 unitary authorities, not including Greater London which is a ceremonial county and not a county, comprising 32 boroughs and the City of London which is a district and a county and not a ceremonial county and we haven't even talked about Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland where it's different. Front. Absolute state of this. Wow. The reality is, unless you live in a county that's particularly unusually proud of itself, like Yorkshire, in general not much of a monkey's is given about the county you live in. And that might be because it just doesn't really matter. It's not like the USA, where laws vary from one state to the next. Even Royal Mail doesn't care anymore. Thanks to postcodes, putting oh. a county on your address has been unnecessary since 1996, despite okay. the boxes they make you fill in on Amazon. But just because they're not important doesn't mean we should forget about them. Present day knowledge and understanding of English counties is in an abysmal state. We stopped over four people on the street and not a single one of them could faultlessly name every single county in England and its county town. <laughs> well, we think that's a terrible shame and it's about time something was done about it. Oh, there's Leicestershire, Oxfordshire, Rutland and... <laughs> Leicestershire, Oxfordshire, Rutland and Warwickshire, Northamptonshire is next door. Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire, Norfolk and Lincolnshire, Huntingdonshire and there's more. Like Suffolk and Essex and Surrey and Sussex and Nottinghamshire in the centre. Devon and Cornwall and Dorset and Somerset, Kent and what comes after Kent? Uh, Westmoreland, Cumberland, also Northumberland and County Durham below. There's Lancashire, Gloucestershire, Derbyshire, Cheshire, 11 more counties to go. Shropshire and Staffordshire, Berkshire and Hampshire and Herefordshire next to Wales. There's Hertfordshire, Middlesex, Worcestershire, Wiltshire and Yorkshire with all of the Dales. And Buckinghamshire's the end of the list, there's no need to sing anymore. Cause we're not doing Scotland or Wales or new ones invented in 1974. Jay Foreman, y'all. Jay Foreman, everyone. Jay Foreman. And Mark, what's his name? But Jay was doing the song. Jay, wonderful talent. Mark, too. I love these Mad Men videos. They're always so good. They take a weird, boring issue and make it funny. So I guess overall, counties in the UK don't really matter anymore. It does seem really overly confusing. I guess for a while there they needed the counties for the post office, but but now they have postal codes. It's much better. Counties. Counties are called counties because they were ruled by counts, y'all. That's the main thing I'm taking away from here. Another great Mapmen video. Thank you all for recommending. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.